Now, as many of you might already know that today, ladies and gents, Neo is currently doing an event where we got to get latest developments around Neo. I mean, one of the developments that we got was that battery rental is now going down. They are reducing the battery rental from 980 RNB to now 728. Uh, RNB and this is for the standard packs now for the long distance range they are reducing from 1600 RNB to 1200 which is something that of course it's pretty good pretty amazing because it then makes uh, these uh, of course uh, battery rentals to be more affordable this is something that I believe that it will make uh, it easy for people to come in once again and subscribe to bus which enables them to go to a new battery shopping station and complete a swap or instead of them going to charge their battery they swap within three minutes which is something that is pretty amazing pretty ideal and i was very excited by that of course announcement by neo now there another thing that neo announced still today ladies and gents is of course neo will be officially unveiling their sub brand which by the way it appears that it might be called Onvo. Now, Onvo, ladies and gents, read that Neo intends to officially launch it in the first half of May, meaning that, ladies and gents, beginning of May before the 15th, we are going to get to see Neo officially doing an Onvo launch, which is something that is pretty amazing. Now, Neo's vice president, one of the things that, of course, he said about this brand is that Onvo is not medium to low and kind of vehicle but on for ladies and gents it is a car that is here that will be challenging tesla so on the segment is that of the same as tesla i mean you will know that tesla's current models are you can't compare them with neo neo's evs are quite premium over tesla would look into technology so they are saying or the vice president is saying Onvo is the one that will be a direct competitor uh, to Tesla, which is something that is pretty good, right? So I'm very excited about this to know that uh, this Onvo is not just going to be a product that is for the mass market, but this is uh, standard wise, you, it will be competing against Tesla or the Tesla models, which is something that is pretty good, pretty amazing. I mean, he stressed the point that Neo makes luxury cars. Neo main brand is for the upper class or it's for the upper market and onvo it is the vehicle that neo will be targeting the same customers that teslas or most of the teslas uh, vehicles are targeting which is something that is pretty exciting to know that it is not just going to be that car that you're just going to do for the sake of doing but technology wise it will still be able to compete with tesla which is something that is pretty exciting to hear that from neo i personally think that the one that probably might be for the mass market or medium to low might be the firefly that will get some time in 2025 or by 2025 that i think it will be for the mass market but onvo it appears that is directive co directive competitor will be tesla so i'm very excited about that and i'm also excited about the cut into battery of course rentals which makes me to have faith hope that neo will indeed do very well in the near future now you will know that on those first model it appears that it will be a sedan or a mid sedan which its second of course model will be an suv and it's expected to come in 2025 but this year we're going to see the sedan which spy photos have been of course uh, uh, trending in the streets of social media which um, if onvo is indeed looking the way like oh, this car that we are seeing right here i think ladies and gents then it's quite a beauty it is really a very good competitor because it, it won't be only just be beautiful on the outside but the technology we know that it will be top-notch technology and by the way the onvo it is going to be the very first car or it, this model is going to be the very first model to use neo's latest technology called the nt3.0 you will know that the neo or current neo cars i think even with the upgrade they are still using neo nt2.2 uh, platform which to get to see that onvo 
will come with NT 3.0 just has to show you of what kind of technology is coming with that car so I'm very excited about all these I'm very excited about the latest developments I mean just recently or just now a couple of minutes ago we read of Neo ladies and gents partnership with the catl catl you know that they are the largest or one of the largest battery producers globally or car battery producers globally they are one of the company or they're one of the big companies that are supplying neos with their batteries and to get to see neo partnering with catl when it comes to developing long life batteries makes me to be really excited i'm excited about this partnership and you will know that neo one thing that really excites me that you don't get to see it quite often in other ev competitors or other ev companies is the kind of partnerships that neo strategically forms neo ladies and gents though you might not be seeing most of its fruits and now but they are preparing for the future they are thinking long term which in the longer term ladies and gents these partnerships that neo uh, does or uh, collaborate with other companies they are going to bear uh, fruits for neo they are going to make neo to flourish and one way or the other becoming in the top five uh, uh, of the best-selling automaker globally this is something that i cannot wait to see neo get to that but i think with onvo with firefly we can surely believe or rest assured we will see neo climbing the ladders and selling so many good numbers i mean right now with battery swapping station you will know that neo has been also doing strategic partnerships which will help Neo not only be the one to build those battery shop by themselves as it costs a lot of money but the other companies are going to give Neo money or Neo is going to deploy more and more battery shopping stations with other companies with government Chinese government as that model ladies and gents they are seeing that it's working and it is a model that other companies and together with the Chinese government are interested in partnering with Neo to deploy more and more of uh, battery shopping stations. So uh, money wise, I don't think we are to stress that much anymore of saying that Neo continues to spending a lot of money into battery shopping stations, which cost a lot. But right now we know that there are other partners that are coming and join hands with Neo and help Neo build more and more battery shopping station. With this, I think not only are we going to see uh, Neo able to build many more battery shopping station at a short pace but we are going to see neo generating more and more revenues uh, from this battery shopping station because ladies and gents neo they con this battery shopping station offers convenience to those that subscribe to bus and to know that the battery rental prices have been reduced it makes me to be really excited because that is going to attract those that buy the neo cars those that buy the neos uh, partners cars like gilly Schengen and the others to go and subscribe to bus because it is now at least a bit cheaper compared to where it was otherwise with all that guys i just thought i'd just give you this quick update uh, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and before you buy new for the very first time it is always good that you do your own due diligence that at least you can be comfortable as you are investing onto this stock otherwise that's all from me and i wish nothing but the best in your stock market and investing journey and god bless you all